Hi, my name is Kieran O'Levy, and I'm going to talk about the current treatment options for double head lymphoma. Uh, just to start, um, double head lymphomas have got a rearrangement of MYC and BCL2, and these in the current uh, WHO classification are called high grade B cell lymphomas with MYC and BCL2 translocation. Um, and there's real interest in how to manage them because they have an inferior outcome compared to diffuse large B cell lymphoma in OS. So uh, there really is a lack of prospective studies looking at the treatment of high grade B cell lymphomas. Uh, there's a lot of retrospective experience, uh, but these are rare, so we don't have comparison studies. Uh, there's uh, a lot of data looking at intensive regimens uh, for these diseases, and that um, makes a lot of sense because their proliferation rate is very high. They have a MIC rearrangement, so they have a lot in common with Burkitt lymphoma, where intensive therapies work well. Um, you know, if you look at a number of studies that, uh, that have incorporated a high number of cases with high grade B cell lymphoma over the past few years, um, it looks like more intensive treatments, so treatments that are more intensive than standard or CHOP, are effective. Um, we did a study at the NCI using dose adjusted epoch R. We did a multi center study um, of 53 patients. Uh, these all had a MIC rearrangement uh, and the event free and overall survival were above 70%. Um, others have looked at intensive strategies, um, principally in retrospective settings and have shown good results in high grade B cell lymphomas. The problem with, um, or the challenge with intensive treatments is that they're associated with a lot of toxicity. And most people who get these diseases are in their 60s and 70s. So some of the treatments that we use in Burkitt lymphoma like Codexam IVAC or hyper -CVAD, are not well tolerated in this patient population. I would say that dose adjusted epoch is an intermediate intensity regimen um, that is well tolerated uh, in people of this age group. Um, so I think that those adjusted epoch R is a reasonable treatment to use for these cases. Um, I, I think for younger patients, um, other intensive treatments are also very reasonable, but one has to be cautious with these in, in older people where toxicity can be a major problem. And then of course, in aggressive B cell lymphomas, uh, there's a lot of excitement about many of the novel therapies that are in development. Um, one type of treatment that appears to be very effective in high-grade B cell lymphomas are anti-CD19 CAR T cells. Um, there are now a number of studies that have included um, a, a significant number of patients with high-grade B cell lymphomas. And although the data are early, um, have shown good outcomes for these patients. Um, there also are a, a plethora of other new agents, um, but it's going to be very interesting to see if this um, subgroup high-grade B cell lymphoma is uh, more susceptible to some of these agents than DLBCL um, NOS. So I would say in summary, um, uh, it's very reasonable at this point in time to give an intermediate intensity regimen such as dose adjusted epoch for, for, for cases of high grade B cell lymphoma, previously called double hit lymphoma. Um, there are a lot of new treatments in development, um, and, and some of these are actually being incorporated into the um, upfront setting. And it's going to be very interesting to. Um, see results of uh, these various novel treatments um, in this subset of lymphomas uh, over time.